This is a 1980 Porsche 924 that was a gift from Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons to Eric Carr in 1980 as a gift for him joining the band KISS. Well, after his death in 1991, this car has been parked. It's been sitting in a garage and then also at the KISS Mini Golf and Museum here in Las Vegas for decades. And now, for the first time in I don't know how many years, it starts, it runs, and we're gonna drive it. Here it is, you saw in the previous videos how we were working on the motor a little bit, cleaning it out, pressure washed it. Well, a lot has been done to it in the last couple of months. Okay, this is a uh, Bosch fuel distributor. It has been rebuilt, done a full tune-up on this thing. And uh, I can't even go into all the things that have been done to it, but a lot of fuel-related things, fuel filters, fuel pump, gas uh, tank cleared out. Um, you know, obviously we got a new distributor over there, plugs, wires, um, looks like we got new coil over there. Just a ton of stuff has been done. A uh, completely new brake system, new master cylinder, new calipers, uh, you know, brakes all the way around, just everything has been done to it. And uh, now it's the moment of the truth. Let's fire this thing up and let's hear it run under its own power for the first time in decades. Okay guys, this is a genuine cold start. So, <clears throat> we're gonna see what happens. Here we go. Come on. Uh, it's, it still needs some work. Here we go. Woo! It is running a little rough, but hey, it's idling. There it is. Let me take the microphone out. I'm gonna take the microphone off me, hold it up to the engine. Now it's still not perfect, but it runs. I'll get a little of the exhaust note back here for you. The car runs. It's not running perfect, but it's running. And headlights are working. Huh? So let's take a look inside the car. Let me give you a tour. All right, inside the car, you can see I've added some of these cool floor mats from the era that has Eric Carr the Fox and also has Vinnie Vincent. Let's climb in and have a look. So here's the uh, dash running. I'm assuming that bar is oil pressure. Still running a little rough. Clock doesn't seem to be working. Radio works. Air conditioner's not working yet. Here's the uh, tachometer. It's got a little bit of hesitation and timing issue. But um, let's see, did these work? Yeah, kinda. <laughs> and um, when does actually work? Slowly. Had to rebuild them, but they're coming around. Car's looking pretty good. The seats and the interior of the dash is in fantastic condition. I mean, no cracks in this thing. Absolutely wonderful condition as well as the roof and the headliner. Maybe we should take the top off. Ooh, I don't know, we'll see. 
We should take it for a spin. First, nice and smooth. And here we go. Nice. Ah, pretty smooth so far. Need to clean the windshield though, Jesus. It's got like 20 years of kissed museum dust on it. It's a little sputtery. There we go. Trying to take it easy. I mean, I'm rather surprised at how well the tires are rolling. What I mean is they should be, you know, they were flat spotted and literally flat for years, sat in the same spot for forever. Transmission seems to be pretty good. It's rolling really well. I'm gonna just take a turn here. Tell you, it rides really smooth. I'm really surprised at how well it is actually riding. You know, Air Car was a much smaller guy than me. I'm a pretty big dude. I don't want to adventure too far from home. But hey, it's driving great. I mean, all things considered. Turn signals turning. It shifts great, turns great. I mean, listen, it's a four cylinder little car, meaning it has almost the same kind of engine, you know, like the same fuel system as my DeLorean. So it's not very fast or powerful, but it is a little tiny car. It's a really nice, cool evening here in Las Vegas. And I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I wish it wasn't, you know, for the YouTube copyright. I would definitely pop in a Kiss cassette and jam out to a little bit of Eric Carr's drumming, you know. But unfortunately, I can't do that. So what do you guys think? I mean, we've got it running. Uh, Mike did a kick-ass job getting this thing going. I spent way more money on it than I really wanted to, but uh, I felt like it was the right thing to do to get the car, you know, like I wasn't gonna do a full restoration on it, you know? We haven't really done anything necessarily cosmetic to it, I would say, um, other than washing it. I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to fix the big dent in the hood or not. Um, and I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do with the car. I mean, I have it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep it in my collection. But I might have a better idea for something to do with it. I was thinking about how Eric died of cancer. And that maybe what should happen is this, can this car should go to a dedicated KISS fan who's willing to pay to buy it at an auction and maybe we could raise a little money for a cancer foundation. I don't know. What do you think? It's just an idea that I had because I've already got like 25 cars and I'm not really a Porsche guy. I mean, this is the first Porsche I've ever owned or driven. Absolutely fantastic. Wow. 
it's kind of a weird feeling sitting in that seat that Eric used to sit in. You could feel a small connection, you know, with him, maybe his relationship with this car. Imagine he was a guy that worked on appliances. He didn't make a lot of money. And next thing you know, he was the drummer in the biggest rock band in the world working for Kiss. And then his heroes, Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons, give him the gift of a brand new Porsche for Christmas. I heard he had a lot of problems with this thing. I mean, in the like 10, 11 years he had it while he was alive, you know, this was his only car and uh, tons of problems with these things. Has that Bosch fuel injection system and Porsche guys, I tell you, they hate these cars. But I love this thing. And as a KISS fan, it's really special to own and drive this car. It's amazing. All right, guys, this is really just a teaser for this little car. If you are interested in seeing more videos on Eric Carr's 1980 Porsche 924, just let me know by liking this video, posting your thoughts in the comments, share it with your favorite KISS fan or Porsche fan, and make sure to subscribe to see more videos on the car. We're just getting started. We're gonna get it all cleaned up, get it detailed. Maybe we'll fix the dents and things. Maybe we'll get it a little bit more up to par, but I don't wanna lose any of the originality. I wanna keep it as original as possible, just a little cleaner. The interior on this thing is amazing because it was kept inside a nice garage or with the windows closed in a nice climate controlled area for its whole life. But the outside hasn't been treated as well. So we're gonna get it cleaned up and uh, we'll figure out what we're gonna do with it, you know? Uh, I haven't really decided, but I'd like to hear your thoughts on the whole thing. And uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy the car a little bit. And like I said, get it cleaned up, get the stereo and tape deck working. And I am definitely gonna drive around and listen to some of my favorite KISS cassettes. And I can't wait for some of the KISS guys that I'm friends with to get back to town. You know, Eric uh, Singer, he's off uh, till the next couple of months touring with KISS. Bruce Kulick lives here in town, but he's doing, touring with some of his other bands that he works with. And uh, I'm hoping to get some thoughts from uh, Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley of their memories of maybe when they give him the car, or when he had the car. And also, if you are a fan or, or you are a friend of Eric's, maybe, of Eric Carr, and uh, you have stories about this car, hey, maybe we could do a video chat or something, put that in the video. That would be a lot of fun because uh, I've had a few people reach out to me. And, um, you know, because there's people out there that have some things that came from the car, some paperwork and this and that license plates. So I'm trying to get some of that stuff assembled to get the car as original as possible. Anyway, thanks for tuning in and watching the video. And uh, Kiss Army forever, guys. I'm Video Bob. Thanks for watching. <laughs>